former President Donald Trump made history in Georgia yesterday, becoming the first sitting or former American president to have his mugshot photo taken. Trump telling Newsmax about his experience being arrested and processed at the Fulton County Jail on charges that he tried to overturn the 2020 presidential election results in the state. Terrible experience. Uh, I came in, I was treated very nicely, but uh, it's, uh, it is what it is. I took a mugshot, which I never heard the words mugshot. Trump insisting the case against him and his 18 co-defendants is politically motivated. And while some supporters of the 2024 Republican primary frontrunner agree, I will stand before my president. Some independent voters aren't convinced. He's delusional. He's still saying that the election was fraudulent. There have been over 60 court cases that prove that disprove that theory. At least four of Trump's alleged co-conspirators, including former chief of staff Mark Meadows and former Justice Department official Jeffrey Clark, are seeking to move their cases to federal court. Meadows has a hearing in federal court Monday. We're in uncharted legal waters here, and that's why Trump and his lawyers and many of the co-defendants who are also lawyers are going to do everything they can to delay this case. Meantime, lawyer Kenneth Cheesebro, one of Trump's co-defendants, had his request for a speedy trial approved with a start date set for October 23rd. The judge says that trial date only applies to Cheesebro. M1, ABC News, Atlanta.